In this video we are going to cover basic arithmetic operations, the logarithm function and the circle primitive. So if you are familiar with these, feel free to skip this video, otherwise we will get straight into it. And then the reason we need this is because we don't want our random weight matrices and random bias vectors to just be random. We need them to be random and satisfy a specific property. And by we need, I mean scientific papers have been written about this and it's easier to work with the neural networks when their random initial values satisfy these properties. And so you can open your favorite search engine and look for how to turn a uniform random number to the, uh, to the normal distribution. And you can open this Wikipedia page, for example, which, which is what I've been using. And it will tell you all about the box Muller transform, which is what we need. If you have U1 and U2, which are independent samples chosen from the uniform distribution between 0 and 1, which is what the roll function does, then Z0, which is this expression with U1 and U2, is exactly what we need. And so we need to see how to, in APL, do the square roots, the logarithm, the cosine, and the pi, and all these multiplications, so that we can actually create these random arrays. And so let me go ahead and minimize this for now. Also let me get rid of this because it doesn't matter that much and turn this into full screen. And so maybe let's cover basic arithmetic first. It's the first group of primitives in here. These all deal with basic mathematical operations. Well, some of these operations are more basic than the others, but this is basic maths in here. Also notice something really interesting is that Multiplication is actually with the proper times glyph, and instead of the asterisk, we are used to in other programming languages. So, 2 asterisk 3 in most programming languages would be 6, because it's 2 times 3, but in APL it's actually 2 to the power of 3, so that's 8. If you want to do multiplication, you will type 2 APL minus 3, and that is 6. 2 minus 3 minus 1, 1 plus 2, 3. Also notice that 2 minus 3 gives minus 1, and the minus 1 is represented with a high minus, not the regular minus. And that, distinguish, uh, that distinction is made so that you can type something like 1 minus 2, 3. This is the vector with the numbers 1, minus 2, and 3. If you press enter, that's what you get. If you type in 1 and then minus 2, 3, what this basically does is it's going to take the 1 and it's going to subtract 2 and 3 from it. So you get minus 1, minus 2. In order to type that high minus, you type APL2. And then a number. Now we want to see how to do the logarithm of a number and logarithm is usually shortened to log in mathematics and a log can be a piece of wood that was chopped down and if you look at a log from the top it will look, some, well if you are imaginative enough, it will look something like this. Maybe the font size is too small for you to understand. This is a log seen from the top, and this is the logarithm function. Let me get the font size smaller again, because this is way too big. And so if you say, well, what's 2 log 8? Log is typed with APL shift 8. 2 log 8 means base 2 logarithm of 8, which should give 3 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8. This is the logarithm. And now we're just left with dealing with pi and the trigonometric functions. And to obtain pi, it's really easy. You just use the circle primitive, and then you press 1. 
this gives you pi. By the way, the circle, if you haven't guessed yet, what does the circle look like? Well, it looks like an O, so if you press APL O, you type the circle. And then, when you only give it one argument, what the function does is pi times the argument. So pi 1 is pi times 1, which gives you pi. Pi 2 gives you 2 times pi. But of course, you can also do, say, 1 to 3, and then you get 1 times pi, 2 times pi, e 3 times pi. That's how you get pi. But you can also use circle in a dyadic fashion. In, sorry, in a dyadic fashion. And that means you give it two arguments. And then the left argument, if you check the tooltip, will let you select from a variety of trigonometric functions. For example, you can see here that 2, used as a left, left argument, selects the cosine function. So if you do 2 circle 45, this is going to give you the cosine of 45. If you do 2 circle pi 1, what circle 1 gives you pi, and so we are getting the cosine of pi, which is minus 1. If you know your trigonometric functions, you know this is true. And also notice that the parentheses here are not needed, because APL executes from right to left, so this reads as pi times 1, which is pi, and then the cosine of that. And these, these are all the primitives we need to implement our function that generates normal arrays.